The ruminant reproductive tract is composed of the ovary, ovarian tube, uterus, uterine horn, uterine body, and uterine cervix, vagina, vestibule, and vulva. The more cranial components of the reproductive tract are suspended to the pelvis and lateral body wall by the broad ligament, a bilateral sheet of peritoneal fold. In the live animal, the uterine horns curl ventral towards the abdominal floor, then course caudally towards the pelvis. And finally, head in a dorsal direction where they connect with the uterine tube close to the ovary. The female external genitalia are combined to seal the vagina and maintain its sterility. The putendum consists of the vulva, clitoris, and vestibule. In the domestic animals, the vulva is the external opening of the reproductive system. It is composed of labia or lips, which are the majora and minora. The left and right labia meet dorsally to form a dorsal commissure and ventrally forming a ventral commissure. The thoris is what lies near the ventral commissure of the vulva and it is highly sensory. The vestibule is the region caudal to the vagina or between the external urethral orifice and the vulva. Both urine and reproductive secretions pass through the vestibule. The suburethral diverticulum is a pouch or recess below the external urethral orifice near the cranial most extent of the floor of the vestibule. The vagina is the chamber between the cervix and vestibule. It is three times longer than the vestibule. The vagina has a circular and longitudinal mucosal folds and secretes a lot of mucos. During natural mating, salmon is deposited in the anterior portion of the vagina. The vagina will also serve as part of the birth canal at the time of Calvin. One important function of the vagina is as a line of defense against invasion by bacteria. The epithelium of the vagina secretes fluids which combine with cervical fluids to inhibit growth of undesirable bacteria. Vagina is divided into two parts, the interior and posterior vagina. In cow's vagina, there is presence of the fornix vagina, which is a 360-degree pocket that surrounds the opening of the cervix. It is an annular space around the external os of the cervix in the cranial part of the vagina. The walls of the cervix are thick and dense in comparison to the walls of the vagina. The cervix remains closed most of the time by a mucose block except in estrus or calf delivery. Cervix creates a barrier between inside portion of the reproductive tract where the pregnancy will develop and the outer portion. The cow's cervix has a characteristic feature that differentiates it from other domestic animals. The cervix of a cow has an annular ring or also called cervical rings. The ruminant cervix has a longitudinal and transverse folds. The folds must be manipulated rectally while an inseminating rod is passed through the uterus. The opening of the cervix into the uterine body is the internal uterine or cervical ostium, and that into the vagina is the external uterine or cervical ostium. The cervix acts as a reservoir for semen. The cervix provides a favorable environment for sperm survival. Secretions of the cervix are usually thick, but these fluids thin at the time of estrus to facilitate transfer of sperm to the uterus. The cervix or fluids of the cervix acts as a physical barrier and protect the uterus from any foreign material or bacteria during pregnancy. A thick flog forms in the canal of the cervix and blocks access to the pregnant uterus. Cow has a bicornuate type of uterus. The uterus in cattle is composed of three distinct regions, the uterine body and the two uterine horns. The uterine body and two uterine horns make 
a Y shape. The left and right horns are connected by the intercornual ligament. The cow has both dorsal and ventral intercornual ligaments compared to small ruminants which have a single ligament. Note that the uterine horns of ruminants are well separated. The uterine body is relatively short. Also, the lining of the internal surface of uterus is the endometrium, which features many mushroom-shaped elevations called caruncles. Attached to each caruncle is a cotyledon which is part of the placenta. The unit formed by the maternal caruncle and fetal cotyledon is called a placentome. The placenta of ruminants is classified as cotyledonary. Uterine body is the major site of semen deposition during AI or artificial insemination. The mesometrium is the ligament that supports and surrounds the uterus. Oviducts are the functional links between the ovary and the uterus. The oviduct is also the site of fertilization. Oviducts are divided into three different segments, the infundibulum, ampulla, and isthmus. As you can see here, we have the fimbria which is the leaf-like tissue which goes over the ovary to catch the egg during ovulation. And lay this back out and the egg then goes into the infundibulum which is the funnel-like structure and it travels up eventually getting into the ampulla which is where the columnar cells help push eggs to the ampulla isthmus junction, which is where fertilization happens. The ampulla is highly convoluted segment and feels like a soft and then when you get to the isthmus, it becomes harder. The isthmus is where it connects to the uterine horn. Mesosalpinx is the ligament that surrounds and supports the oviduct. The ovary is the primary sex organ of the female reproductive tract. The ovary of a cow is in almond shape. They house the oocytes, which will be released and move into the oviduct to be fertilized and produce hormones, estrogen and progesterone throughout the stages of the estrous cycle. Cow's right ovary is larger than the left ovary. Corpus lithium produces the hormone progesterone, which is essential for the pregnancy. In pregnant cow, the corpus lithium is very prominent. Follicles are the blister-like structures here in the ovary. Inside these follicles are the oocytes. It's the structure that is responsible for the production of the estrogen. And every time the cow is in heat, they develop and release an egg from the follicle, specifically the tertiary follicle. The mesovarium is the ligament that supports and surrounds the ovary. The white tissue that covers the ovary is the tunica albuginae. When the ovary is cross-sectioned, it is divided into two parts. The cortex, where the follicles and corpus lithium is housed, and the medulla, which is composed of connective tissue, blood vessels, and nerves entering the ovary through the hilus.